Hey, what's going on, guys? Arava here, and welcome back to another Last the Question Mark Challenge video here today for the 2018 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And today we're going to be taking on this challenge with Romain Grosjean in his Haas. Decided this time around, uh, you know, compared to the last three uh, ones we've done for the 2018 season so far, I'm going to record this after qualifying but before the race. So that's why I've uh, chosen Romain Grosjean. In the last few, we picked Hamilton, Vettel, and Ricardo, you know, some of the top guys, but I thought we would actually go with someone that's actually at the back of the grid. So Romain Grosjean, obviously, he had a bit of a torrid time in qualifying with it eventually going off circuit missing his brake point and then the gearbox had some sort of issue and so he's going to be starting last on the grid so let's try and see how far we can get up the order with him if you're unfamiliar with the challenge we're here with a 25% race so a bit of a shorter race means the pressure is on we have to make the moves when we when we can as fast as we can and we can't really dawdle with getting stuck behind any traffic here so it's going to add to that pressure value and obviously we just pick a driver that well it has been kind of relevant in the past with a couple of pole uh, cities I've chosen, but as I said, I've chosen Grosjean for good reason this time round, and we'll see if we can maybe make any kind of wizard predictions with what the pecking order is like by the end of this thing. So in terms of the strategy today, we're going to flip the default, the default being super soft to soft tyres here on the 2017 game, but with the 2018 mod uh, installed, obviously, like we've had from our 2018 mod career, but we're going to flip the strategy. We're going to start on the soft tyres and then go to the super soft, so it's still going to be a one-stop, but just aiming to be on the fastest tyre possible right at the end of the Grand Prix with a bit lower fuel we'll see also that could help us with you know if there's a lack of traffic when we're still out on track when everyone else is pit for their first pit stop that might help us as well so let's go then to five red lights for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix round number four of the 2018 season with Roman Grosjean from P20 last on the grid it's a good getaway compared to the cars ahead of us we get both Williams cars down the inside of them both Sauber Alfa Romeo's there as Leclerc and Ericsson go side by side and that forces us to the inside a little bit of a tank slapper we managed to uh, find our way past and up into P16 already with Carlos signs now being bogged down with a bit of a lock up then behind the Mexican Sergio Perez so we're going to bump this thing up to Rich Mix and we're going to try and go on the left hand side to run overtake him on the second little straight here no DRS available obviously until lap three but we're going to make the pass anyway under braking signs tries his best he's still there in the mirrors and the proximity arrow in red there at the bottom of your screen but we've got that done and we're up into P15 so pretty good uh, progress on lap one I mean we could have got maybe a bit more I think we could have maybe got Perez if we didn't get caught up with the pass on the two Sabers early earlier into turn one but uh, you can see now clearly as we move on to the end of lap one on towards lap two the absolutely awesome back straight and then onto the main pit straight it's uh you know i say it many many times when you come to this circuit it's like a motorway and we've seen it in real life as well the amount of slipstream uh, that, that takes effect here and the, the power of the slipstream is so great and so we're able to t uh, overtake the mexican very easily up into p14 then the next car being uh, soft van dorn tucked up behind the frenchman of esteban ocon here today and so we close up now in sector three as we move on to the end of lap two purple in sector to two so that's our own personal pb and now as uh, van dorn might line up a pass on ocon we could maybe get a double toe here so just a bit of patience needed then i think it's going to be our best friend uh, this entire race really just about making the easy pass on the straight as uh, hamilton sets fast up the grand prix there you go van dorn going neck and neck with ocon so we're going to get a double toe off ocon then van dorn swoop to the even more inside of the belgian man and we down our inside yellow flags into turn one or actually it's really the technically the pit straight so i'm looking at the top left i was a little bit wary i didn't know if i could overtake van dorn because the yellow flag symbol was still up on the top left but it was green flags by the time we got into turn one as Marcus Ericsson looks like he's retired on the minimap you can see he looks like he's parked up on the exit of turn one so thankfully the yellow flags were just about perfectly well timed for me they came out just as I, as I was overtaking and was already technically just a nose ahead of Van Dorn and so we are able to keep that pass and we're in P11 now just outside the points and really uh, going into this obviously unlike the first three rounds uh, you know, I think with Grosjean, just a kind of case of can we get to the points as we send it down the inside of Hartley in the same place where oh, Hartley and Gasly nearly came into some contact in qualifying. That was a crazy incident, by the way, guys. Let me know what you thought about qualifying in general in this video. Obviously, uh, this one being recorded after quality, but ahead of the race. So, um, yeah, pretty crazy stuff that was between Gasly and Hartley in, in the actual real-life qualifying in that section of the circuit there. And that could have nearly been an amazingly nasty crash for, for Pierre Gasly. But um, anyway, yeah, made that pass on uh, Hartley and I guess as I was saying just before we made that pass uh, with the first three uh, rounds we've done with the last question mark challenge with Ricardo 
uh, Vettel and Hamilton. It's always been a case of trying to get back on the podium or maybe trying to go for the race win. With Grosjean from last place, you would probably imagine really just the, the objective being into the points. And so we're in P10 already, so pretty big thumbs up for now. So we're making good progress and we've still got the advantage that will be on the softer compound attire at the end of this race. And you can see now, as I'm so concentrating on taking Slipstream from Magnus and I forget that he's probably coming to the pits then. But this is the exact kind of advantage I was talking about on the strategy. Starting on the soft tyres now, we meet, it means we're going to have like two laps of just clean air. We won't obviously have any kind of advantage from a little bit of a toe maybe from the cars we're chasing down, but now we're into P1 on lap seven. So a lot of clean air, no cars ahead of us. We can just concentrate on the driving and crucially, more more crucial, Not it's not really on us. It's really the cars behind us because we lose a bit of time there locking up into the left tyre as the tyres start to go off. But you can imagine the rest of the cars behind me have already pit are going to be fighting right now because Magnussen was so close to Hulkenberg there. It looked like the Ferraris were maybe having a battle with the Red Bulls or Mercedes or whatever it was. And the entire top 10 was so close actually around here. So I'm hoping as I've just been on this lap, it's not been an amazingly fast lap, but it's just been a lap where I haven't lost as much time as theoretically the others have whilst fighting each other. So we're into the pits now and we're going to come on for a set of super soft tyres. We've got a decent amount of fuel, about 0.5 laps left. So obviously with the 2018 mod, if you've seen the mod career mode episode guys on the channel, uh, you will know the fuel burns quite fast around here on the 2018 mods, but we've got a decent amount left to try and attack some cars and we come out the pit lane and we're up into P8. So exactly, you can see Hartley's behind us and Alonso is the next car. So Magnus and Hulkenberg, nowhere to be seen. I think me and Hartley have both jumped, uh, 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 both jumped Magnussen and Hulkenberg, and Hartley made a pit stop even earlier than they did, so it actually just shows the amount of uh, action they got into, and now we're closing up on the same outlap on Fernando Alonso, and he's closing up on Sebastian Vettel, who's closing up on Raikkonen, so I don't know what has happened, I think Raikkonen and Vettel may have an issue, or maybe just Raikkonen is holding Vettel and Alonso up here. You can see how rapidly I've closed up in the outlap here. So major issues, and uh, I don't know, depending on which side of the fence you are for a Ferrari fan and Mercedes fan, let's hope this is not a jinx and a bit of wizardry for tomorrow's Grand Prix. Both Ferraris with some issues, and they're slowing down. And at the moment, I think it's a 1-2 for Mercedes with the Red Bull cars closely followed behind Ricciardo and Verstappen. But now you look at this, Alonso is going to get a toe. Vettel's going to get a toe. It may be four wide here, because it's going to be Vettel on the left, uh, Alonso on the right to be three wide between them. Starting to get boxed in in the middle of the circuit. We swoop to left-hand side, still full throttle that entire time. And somehow I managed to miss contact with Sebastian Vettel's rear end. We're so, so close. Probably only a few pixels separating us. And we've somehow pulled off a triple overtake down the main straight on two Ferraris and a McLaren. That was absolutely awesome. Four wide there at Baku. Uh, at one point, I really did think I was going to have to lift off because I was getting so close to Raikkonen's rear end. And Vettel and Alonso weren't quick enough that they weren't fully alongside Kimi. So I was literally, actually physically getting boxed in um, on left and right. But then last minute, just pulled through to the left and somehow made it work. But here is why then uh, we were all kind of closing up so fast. Looks like Raikkonen is the one with an issue because that, that's Pierre Gassi's Torosso Honda down the inside. He's made it. And the Frenchman is up into, I think that's P5 or P4 maybe. I think P5. And so you know if the Torosso Honda is overtaking the Ferrari, he's definitely got issues. So, and then here's a replay now of that amazing little overtake here. Look at that, a spectacle there. Almost going into the wall, really. I had to kind of hope and pray that Vettel kept it to the right to actually make that work. And then we're down the inside of three cars there. Fernando trying to overtake Vettel into turn one. Doesn't quite work out for the Spaniard. And so now that allows us and releases us to now try and attack Pierre Gasly on the right-hand side. We break early because I can see what's going to happen. He's going to squeeze us out. We do this switchback move. Textbook switch back there. And we're up into P4 now. A little early on the brakes now into the next turn to block off the inside on lap 12 and we're up into P4 but onto the last half of the Grand Prix not over the yet because we make a big mistake on the left hand there into turn 2 and it's a very characteristic mistake of Romain Grosjean and you could say issues with the brakes double lock up there and so Gassi's back up ahead of us with DRS open we pull to the left we're going to use a bit of fuel if we can maybe we don't have too much actually so we're in standard mixture but down the inside we open up the steering wheel a bit aggressive on the exit then on the Frenchman to get back into fourth place then and we will eventually do that thankfully so on the last Last half of the Grand Prix, pull back through, and so it's going to be an amazing fourth place from last place on the grid to fourth. I think if Romain Grosjean actually pulls this off, it would be pretty much one of the best drivers of his career. So I'm not too confident that you're going to see Grosjean in fourth and Pierre Gasly in fifth place from where they are on the real life grid. 
uh, tomorrow. Uh, but um, if they do, then, uh, well, you know, GG. And also, you can call me an absolute wizard. But also, at the same time, I don't think you'll be seeing both Ferraris with issues and both Mercedes making it a 1 2 with Hamilton in first and Bottas second. But hey ho, I mean, I've done some pretty crazy things in the past with predicting stuff in the future. So we'll see. We'll see for the real life Grand Prix tomorrow. So be sure to come back to this video tomorrow, guys, and see what occurred. But fourth place from last place in the game for the challenge, pretty damn decent. Like I said earlier on, I thought this was going to be a challenge of just getting to the points, but very, very decent. Obviously, as I said, the strategy worked out wonders for, you know, the AI getting caught up in fighting. And then obviously, who could have predicted the Ferraris having some sort of issue and then that uh, amazing little uh, triple overtake to make that happen and release us to try and catch up to Beer Gasly. But then, but guys, if you did enjoy the video, smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of not only the video, but also real life qualifying. Obviously, there was plenty to talk about. Grosjean issues, Toro Rosso issues in Q1. We had Leclerc in the through into Q2, which is absolutely notable as well. And then you had the Williams out qualifying Fernando Alonso. And then, of course, Kimi Raikkonen not able to pull it through in Sector 3 and effectively kind of maybe chucking away what could have been a pole position and making it three poles in a row for Sebastian Metal, which has not happened since 2013 Italy to career. So is the Sebastian dominance era maybe back in qualifying? At least we'll see. We'll see. But let me know all that good stuff in the comments below. If you are new around here, you get subscribed for weekly for long content. And tomorrow we will have the uh, top five moments from the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And then also remember the F1 fantasy. We're going to look through that for the first time after the Azerbaijan Grand Prix tomorrow evening. So get subscribed for all that good stuff. I've been Erva. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.